here we will discuss 10 tips to pass any external examination uh, these are the most important tips because uh, many of the students don't follow and the first you need to read all the questions thoroughly uh, from the question paper uh, when the question when you receive the question paper uh, read the all questions and then next select the questions which you know the perfect answer uh, once you read the question you will get an idea about it uh, whether you have read it or not and uh, if you know the perfect answer select such type of questions and the next draw the margins in your answer booklet and then start writing the answers from for above selected questions so whatever the select you have selected here start writing answers for those questions and then mention the question numbers properly so whatever the question you are writing mention the question numbers uh, very clearly and the next maintain neat handwriting from beginning to end so from starting of the paper to till the end uh, maintain and write with the neat handwriting this is going to be the most important uh, and it creates a very effective for the evaluator and the next give a title to your answer uh, this is also the most important uh, for example if you take an exam uh, uh, as a physics uh, division and german experiment uh, if you are writing about uh, about the division and german experiment so give a title as division and german experiment and the next try to elaborate your answers uh, whatever the content you have related about the answer and write in a brief and write in a point wise or paragraph wise so try to elaborate your answers and to make your answer more effective try to represent your answers with side headings for flowcharts diagrams and in form of tables uh, and so to make your uh, answers very effective uh, try to represent your answers uh, with the side headings and then flowcharts if you can or uh, diagrams any diagrams related to the answer and in the form of tables like uh, if they ask you to uh, differentiate it draw a table and differentiate and write the similarities if they ask and uh, diagrams of flowcharts if any and the next draw diagrams using pencil only so draw this flowcharts or diagrams uh, using pencil only and uh, so these are the points uh, these are the 10 points uh, you, uh, which are important uh, to pass any external examination uh, this you can follow for any subjects and then next here uh, for maths you have the two important points uh, write the related formula in boxes uh, whatever the solution you are writing the formula is there related to the solution so mention them in the boxes that creates an effective impression for the evaluator and the next give a conclusion sentence at the end of each solution uh, for example if they ask you to find out the values of x y and z uh, so at last finally you give a conclusion as uh, therefore the value of x is and y is z is so and so so give a conclusion sentence at the each and every solution so these are the most two importance which you need to do for mathematics subjects and the next for programming subjects for programming subjects like uh, C or Java, Python, uh, for any subjects like programming subjects, uh, then uh, first thing you need to do is write output for every program. Uh, here, the most of the students uh, uh, lose the marks because they write the program but they forget to write the expected output. So, output is going to be the most important for each and every program. So don't forget to write the output after each and every program. So write output for every program. And the next question, if they give illustrate word in question, you must write the answer in the following manner. As at first you need to write the concept and then program, then after output of the program. For example, if they ask you to illustrate string functions, uh, you have seen the word illustrate in the question as for the string functions so you have to write the concept theory of the string functions 
it means whatever the string functions are that you will use the uh, string uh, a string dot h uh, what header file and then next we have a uh, string length string lower case string upper case so give a brief explanation about those functions and then that comes under the concept part or theory part and then next you go with the programs program for finding a uh, string length and a string upper case string lower case string copy string concatenation and write it and write e output for each and every program so these are the two tabs you need to follow for every programming subject and the next at last we have the note point that is write part a answers and part b answers separately it means whatever the part a you are writing just write those questions togetherly and then part b answers you write them separately so don't mix this or don't write this uh, part a and part b answers togetherly so these are the most important tips uh first to 10 tips for all the subjects or any subjects and the next two tips for uh, mathematics and programming subjects thank you